Today's telecast is presented live from Grim Bay X Consin at the historic football shrine, Slam Bone Field, where so much of Newton football's history has been written in blood. Both teams hit the field ready to hit each other in this MFL matchup. The Midway Mutants battle, the Grim Bay Attackers. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Welcome to another game day here on the MFL Network. Grim Blitzrow along with my partner, Brickhead Mulligan. How you doing? Great city, isn't it, Bricks? Fantastic city. My motel even has free color TV oh, and nice. an ice machine that works. Wow. There was police tape blocking the bathroom because of the photographers in there, but other than that, no complaints. They, they give you free jelly at breakfast, too. Sounds like a real winner. And it's first and ten. First and ten. Nicely done for a first down. And it's first and ten. First and two. And he runs it in for the touchdown. Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. Um, as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. They're going to be able to return this one. First and ten. Huh? 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 Go about a six-yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. Huh? Huh? First down. And this guy is a stud, Bricks. Yeah, telling me. Nice run. No, I mean, he's a real stud. He works at the Mutant Stud Farm weekends and summers. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Second down and ten. Third down and, well, good luck. Oh, my gosh! The defensive player looks like he's lost his mind! Well, he had it for a second there. <laughs> Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio! And he booted a high-arcing rainbow. And he snags the 
Pond and look. Oh, and that's what it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made into dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about bad hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And it's first and ten. That was a good throw, and assuming he was aiming for the ground. Second down and ten. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. Third down and nine. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it too. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross pitching, unbelievable. Nice catch. And, and that was a bone crusher right there, folks. <laughs> and it's first and ten. <gasps> up nine with that catch. Uh, not enough for first, but still a nice game. And that'll bring up second and one. <laughs> the defense better watch out. The quarterback just threw a murder ball. Uh, I love the murder. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. Second down and more offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Second down and a very lot. And they run it for a couple of yards. Third down and nine. Four yards on that one, and he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. Well, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. And he's got a chance for a good return. Oh, with a brutal hit. First and ten. And a hard run there picks up the first down. And it's first and ten. heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Catch the ball, asshole. And That's the end of the first quarter, and it's still anyone's game.
Second down and ten. toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? Well, you mistaken, man. You get up in my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. I'm gonna wreck it. Third down and long. I personally think the ginormous guy is compensating for something. Nice pickup for six yards. <laughs> Well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, that well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this. <laughs> and he just lets that one go. He says, no, thank you, and the defense downs it. And it's first and ten. <laughs> the receiver makes a grab for five yards. Second down and five. It's two yard run before he stopped. Third down and three. right there and then he dropped it ah oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league boring but smart time to punt whoa whoa you can't say that on the radio and he put all of his foot into that one and he put a little too much on that ball this will be a touchback and it's first and ten up a new set of downs and it's first and ten and he picks up about six on the play and that'll be second down and four That's better than throwing a pick, I suppose. Third and four. Pow! With the brain scrambler! They're going for it on fourth down. He turned into a mutant fireball with that flame on dirty trick. And anything he touches gets flumpy. And they run it up the gut for a first down. That's a gutsy play. Hey, man, nobody can touch me with eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, Pop? And it's first and ten. And he bursts into the end zone for the score! What a run! He deserves to celebrate like that after such a hard drive! I'm, I'm killing myself here! Hey, what did I say about puns? And they line up for the extra point. Straight through the uprights.
best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's first and ten. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. And then Cats will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. And it's first and ten. No one died. Bombs don't kill mutants, Grim. Mutants kill mutants. Second down and ten. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day. The quarterback calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. Third down and six. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. dirty trick negating that play completely the offense is pissed well, i wish i had that trick in the arm that it would be earlier i let one rip i made a really good one grim and then the doors open and the team's cheerleaders get on <laughs> that's when small talk is really put to the test Now this one's going to be tough. I hope he has a good enough leg for this one. I saw him trying one on before the game. He looked okay, I think. Not my type, though. A little too... He's got the distance, and the kick is good. <laughs> They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. for four yards. Second down and six. First down! He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. Under two minutes, a timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock, and he better win. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. Five-yard gain on that pass play. Hey, look at the coach. He's picking his nose. You know, they shouldn't put that on the jumbotron. Seems like every time the camera shows him, he's either spitting, picking, grabbing himself in the... The QB saved some clock by calling a timeout. They have one left. In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. And he breaks away. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. And they are out of timeout. The clock just became their greatest enemy. Really? The clock? The clock, Grim? I can 
and smash a clock. That's not a great enemy. We're not talking about waking up at the crack of noon. We're talking about the MFL, you moron. And he scores! Should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It's good. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. My turn on the light, it wasn't a brawn in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. Well, the third quarter coming up. Bricks, this game has been a hot mess so far. Yeah, kind of like the morning after eating hot chicken wings. Oh, it's a hot mess on the exit ramp, if you know what I mean. I'll wreck your world. <laughs> Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. And this guy's running like an old guy looking for a bathroom. First down. And it's first and ten. hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. It's about a three-yard pickup. Second down and seven. jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. Second down and ain't going to happen, partner. That's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much 
much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. Man, this coach must have played too many video games. You got to punt it here. Come on. And he punched his way out of that tackle. Man, these guys are some high rollers, and they just won the pot. That's a first down. First down and three. We know this quarterback likes to play with soft balls, but the defense, they're playing with big balls and just crushed his balls. That's a lot of balls, man. Second down and more than the QB would like. Six. And that's just a great run for a touchdown. Now this reminds me of a lap dance I had by a skeleton once. Oh, yeah, that's the mayhem ball that clubbed six feet under. Yeah, my wife could smell the bun there on me when I got home. Big trouble. Greedy or desperate, either way, they're going for two. Bam! Gutsy run for the conversion. Why didn't the skeleton dance in the rock club, Grim? Uh, I don't know. He had no body to dance with. <laughs> That's a pretty good one. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. And it's first and ten. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. Second down and ten. And that's how you run it, folks. Picks up eight there. Third and two. coming it'll knock you right on your ass it's called a sonic blast dirty trick oh and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down they might consider calling a kill the ref play just saying third down and offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery QB is saying his prayers. Full man about a six-yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. I had a dog named Snags. He got hit by a car. Oh, with a punishing hit. <laughs> and it's 
First and ten. And that is caught for a first down. And it's first and ten. First and eight to go. Oh, this berserk dirty trick ain't fair gonna kill me. Oh, and then he just put on a display there. Touchdown! <laughs> Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're gonna hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. And it's first and ten. The teams have kept each other at bay for now, but there's still plenty of time to bribe refs and kill the other team's star players, so it's anyone's game, really, Bricks. Second down and a lot. He just picked the receivers. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. Yo, man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Defense uses the time warp dirty trick to erase that last play. I think all those team physicists really paid off. And you said they were crazy. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? And that'll bring up third and one. simple game when it comes down to it and it's first and ten looks like the defense called the ginormous dirty trick oh he fumbled that one everyone loves being on the highlight reel leaping over a defender but sometimes you get hit hard and have the ball knocked loose oh and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him He's at the 40, the 30, he's at the 20, the 10, and the crowd goes wild. Touchdown, touchdown. They're going for two. And the defense stops him cold. That play just got blown to hell. Yeah, he got blown to shit. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond.
And it's first and ten. He's not just burning down the house, he's taking it to the house. And with a burst of speed, he finds an opening and the first down. And it's first and ten. time like a jack-in-the-box bricks you never know when one of those hot potatoes is gonna blow you just crap your pants junior and it's first and ten oh a great catch and he picks up a new set of downs first down and five If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. Second down and five. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. Actually, he does have some turkey skin wrapped on his backside from that bad burn he hit last year. Hey, you see that little baby? You know what? I'm the greatest. Greatest. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's first and ten. Oh, man. The defense was there, but he still picked up a yard somehow. Second down and nine. So much for the bombs way dirty trick on that play. Didn't fool the defense for a second. Third down and nine. Love the sound of bones snapping and cracking. I mean, when they're not yawn. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. And the two-minute warning sounds. They'll have to regroup during this timeout. Second down in a very lot. is trying to keep some time on the clock for their offense or someone let a real bonehead touch the controller third down and well good luck now the QB is dinking and dunking the defense to sleep <laughs> one yard on that pass and the defense uses their second time out to stop the clock to preserve time for their offense And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. And he booted a high-arcing rainbow. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. Oh, 
Oh, he just got crushed. And it's first and ten. smart if you want to score. Let's see if they did. And it's first and ten. <laughs> and the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. changes the pace by going into a hurry up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry up too? Red, can I kill him? And that pass is good for about five yards. And it all comes down to this. Fourth down inside the two minute. A good heads up play there getting it out of bounds. Better than throwing a pick. First and ten. And that's how you run the football. A pickup of seven on the play. Grim, why is it that more mentally disturbed clowns don't play football? They'd be good. You know, they're all in politics, apparently. The Grim Bay attackers come away with the win. It was a brutal battle of attrition, but they come away with a three-point win and are celebrating on the field. Yeah, and giving the ref a few bucks didn't hurt the cause either. Well, it hurt my cause. I had a saw buck on this fucking game. The game's most valuable player is about to speak. Say what? Come on, man, you can't hang with me. You get my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. You understand me? Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Newton Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...